to stop our, our names not to be written in the book of life. And I got the revelation that we need to have a heart of doing more Amen. and to work in the kingdom. Amen. Because there are souls out there that are worth waiting for us. Mm. But people are not there to win those souls. So children of God, I'm here this on this day to remind you that on these last days we need to work Amen. because each and every one of us will answer before God. God will ask us, what did you do? What will be the answer? How many souls have you won? How many people have you told about Christ? What will be the answer for you? That's the question we need to ask ourselves. That each and every day is God is God pleased with us, with what we are doing, or is God turning our head away from us? Because we are here not just for ourselves. We are here because there's an assignment that God has given us to do, to work in the kingdom. Amen. 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 So, when it comes to the heart, we see in the first Samuel 13, verse 14, when Saul was removed from the, from the throne, God says that to David, he has found a man who's after his heart. Mm. So, God was well pleased with David. So we need to ask ourselves this question this morning. Where is our heart? Mm. Where is our heart standing? Is our heart standing in the things of this world? Or is our heart after God speaks? Amen. Is, is God, when God, when God looks at us, is he saying that we are he, the children who is after his heart because whenever David would do something he would ask God so are we asking God about everything that we are doing in our lives amen, amen. and if we go to Matthew 6 verse uh, 21 it says where our treasure is that's where our heart is mm. Is our treasure the things of this world or is our treasure from God? Are we seeking God? Because we need to seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all will be given to us. Are we seeking God for all the things that he needs to reveal to us or are we seeking God for what we need in this earth. Because we cannot seek for the things of this world. Meanwhile, we are not for this world. We need to seek the things which are from the above. Because that's our home. That's where we are going. Mm. Mm. So we need to have an understanding that we are children of God. So we cannot do as the people of this world. As Sister Kanisa has said, that the word of God is what we need to use mm. to fight the battles. Amen. Because we understand that we are not from this world. Mm. So what we do should be different to the people of this world. Mm. So Bazalane, we need to seek God at all the time. There's so much that God wants to reveal to us. Mm -hmm. There's so much that God wants us to know. Mm -hmm. There's so much that you don't know about yourself, but it's hidden inside of you. Mm -hmm. It's only you who needs to seek God and ask God, who am I? Mm -hmm. I know the world, they say, I'm nobody, but who truly am I? Mm. What is it that you have called me for? 
What is it that you need me for? Because I'm standing here today, I've never thought that I'll be here today sharing a word of God to you. But God has called me to come and be the teacher of the word. Amen. 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 Let us open our books. That the main verse that we're going to read from it will be Matthew 25. We'll read from verse 14 to 30. Amen. Amen. So that's where we we'll focus for today by having a heart to do more. Amen. Amen. Uh, can someone read for me? Matthew 25, 14 to 30. Amen. Matthew 25, 14 says, It would be like a man going on a journey with all his servants and entrusted to them his property to one he gave five talents, to one, oh no, to, to another two, to another one, to each according to his ability. Then he went away, who had received the five talents, went at once and traded with him, and he made five talents more. So also he who had the two talents made two talents more, but he who had received the one talent went and dug in the ground and hid the master's money. Now, after a long time, the master of the servants came and settled accounts with them. And he who had received the five talents came forward, bringing five talents more, saying, Master, you delivered to me five talents. Here I have made five talents more. His master said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little. I will set you over much. Enter into the joy of your master. And he also had the two talents came forward saying, Master, you deliver to me two talents. Here I have made two talents more. His master said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little. I will set you over much. Enter into the joy of your master. He also who had received the one talent came forward saying, Master, I knew you to be a hard man, breaking where you did not sow, and gathering where you scattered no seed. So I was afraid, and I went and hid your talent in the ground. Yeah. Here you have what is yours. But his master answered me, You wicked and slothful servant, you knew that I live where I am not sown, and gather where I scattered no seed. Then you ought to have invested my money with the banker, and at my coming I should have received what was my own with the talent. So take the talent from me and give it to him who has the ten talents. For to everyone who has the will more be given, and you and you will have an abundance. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. And cast the worthless servant into the outer darkness. In that place, there will there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Amen. Amen. Anyone who has a Torah Bible, you can read for us. Amen. Understand this in different <coughs> languages. Amen. Okay. In Tonga, it's a spirit chief. Tashifani, so shati talenta. If you look for this, I'm la enzata. Abitana malanda yena. Amani kashuma shayena. I need a woman at the Talenta 
umwana ne umwana anyikwa kulingana madiba yena kutani a hatisa afamba loyi ingi anyikimile ti talenta ta nkhana aya bindzula tona kutani a kuma ti mwana ta nkhana loyi ingi anyikiwe ti talenta ti mbiri aya bindzula tona kutani a kuma ti mwana ti mbiri kambe loyi ingi anyikiwe talenta yimwe aya jela e hansi ayindela mali ya hosi ya yena Masikula yo tala lo kuma umpile, usia malanga wala o inkita, ni makandela, kutani lo ingi anyikule ti talenta tankana, au mesa ti mwana tankana, au kumbosi, au unzi nkile ti talenta tankana, wona, zi bizurile ti mwana tankana, e, takatoa, usi, ya ye na yiku eka ye na, iso na nanza lo mene, la tsembe kaka. Usembe kile esilwe ni shingari shingani. Shwe shinzita buweka ee ntakale shotala. Ngeena ikutakeni ka husi ya wena. Kutana ye na loi ingi anyikuwe ti talenta timbiri. Ako, osi, au zinikile ti talenta timbiri. Wona, zibizurile ti mwana timbiri. Ee, takatona. Osi ya ye na yiku ikaeni. Esho wana nazalo nene. La tsembe kaka, utsembe kile, eswiliwe ni shingari shingani. Shwe shinzita kuweka ee, mtakale shotara. Ngeena ikutakeni ka usi ya wena. Loi ingi anyiki ule talenta yiwe, yena ata ako. Osi, zikutivile leshoku umungu wa kumondoa. La tsembe laka la anga tarangi kukona, kutengele tala anga ni kuwangi kukona. Kwa la onzi chavi ilo kutani zia fika talenta ya wena, indi sabi ili. Wona, shari, sholesho, shilo shawene. Kutani wosia ye na yumi klamula yiku. Nanzalo walunya, olodoa. Awu rikari unzi tiba le shoko anzito. Nzito wela la antinga tolangi kukona. Zitengele tala antinga. Zinga shanya ngi kikona. Loko shiri shesho, inge uwe kile mali ya mina. Eka na wabizu risaka. Kutani loko zifika, ingi zitekile shilo shamina, zibinzuri sa, zibinzuri, ingi zitekile shilo shamina, nipinzura shona. Mwiteke leni talenta, mnika langa na titaleta takumu. Ikuwa umwana na umwana langa mishiro, utanyikiwa. Kutani utawa na shiro lesho tana. Tambe langari kuna nchumi, utatekiruwa ni lesho angana shona. Chukumetani nanza loloa, emu nyameni wali haani. La asiri lo singa tawa kona ni kukete la kandini. Amen. Amen. Le miru ikizu. Mokuma kujono mtu owati ea muhabela mwelinye izu wabiza izi ngegu zaki. Waziniga izi mbasha yaki. Enye wainiga ama talente aisishani. Enye abamabili. Enye labaliye. Wapa yileyo na leyo jenga manja ala. Wamuka ke, lo opamukele ama talente ayisishani. Wahamba, wasinyane, wasebenza ngawe. Wazuza amanye ayisishani. Kanjalo, opamukele ama bili, wazuza amanye ama bili. Kepa, opamukele la linye. Waya wemba emshabatini waifisha imali yekosi yaki. Kepa emba wesikati esidi ya figa ikosi ya lezi zingregu ya landisa nazo. Weza uba mkele ama talende aisishani waleta amanyi ama talende aisishani. Watinkosi wanginiga ama talende aisishani. Bega nizuze amanyi ama talende aisishani. Inkosi yake ya tiguye, uushe nge, ente ne tembegi. Utembegi ne ezi kwenye, ezi ino sana. Gizazu, gizabu gubega pezu, oguni. Gena, egu toko zeni kwe nkosi yako. Weza noba mkele ama talendi ama bidi wati kosi. Wangi niga ama talendi ama bidi, pega. Nizuze amanyi ama talende ama bi. Inkosi yake ya tibuye. 
kuhle ngqeku enhle nethembekileyo uthembekile ezintweni ezincosana ngiza ukubeka phezu kokuningi ngena ekuthokozeni kwenkosi yakho kepha kweza nobamukele ithalente lalini wathi inkosi bengingakwazi ukuthi umuntu olukhulu uvuna lapho ungahlwanyelanga khona ubutha lapho ungafazanga khona ngesaba ngaya ngalithukisa emhlabathini ithalente lakho bheka nakho okwakho kephe inkosi yakhe yaphendula yathi kuye ncebe embi nevila phayo ubukwazi ukuthi ngivuna lapho ngingahlwanyelanga khona ngibutha lapho ngingafazanga khona na ngakho wawumele ukuba imali yami kwabebhange mina ke ekufikeni kwami ngabe ngilitholile okwami kanye nenzani ngakho mamukeni ma, ma, mamukeni ithalente nilinike onamathalente ayishumi ngokuba yilowo nalowo onakho uyakuphiwa avame kepha onganakho uyakwamukwa nalokho ana leyo ncebu engasiziyo yiphontseni ebumnyameni ubungaphandle lapho uyakuba khona ubukhala ngokugenda amazinyo amen amen let us pray father we thank you on this day sinikezwe ukuthi unkosi ongcwele nani izwe inkosi ongcwele usiphiphele lona inkosi onamanye lenze inkosi ongcwele silizwe njengobunjalo balo inkosi ongcwele as it is coming from your heart i'm the vessel mighty god let mighty god all the words comes from you also on mine for mighty god i'm standing here as a person also on mine on to me the jehovah also on mine yebo also on mine abube uwe also kulumayo also on mine enini abube uwe also on amanda okuluma nengizi yozethu also on mine let us open our hearts let us open our spiritual ear let us mighty god this word make us to grow we are going to us on the man that is the kingdom in jesus mighty name amen. amen 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 so this is the the parable about the servants of god who were given talents we see here the first one received five talents so in this parable we are learning that as the servants of god god gives us the the things that we need to do the task that we need to do according to our own abilities amen amen so god entrusted us into the kingdom that we need to expand the kingdom with what we have amen. amen and we need to do the task according to, according to our own abilities with the skills that we have and with the power that is in us amen amen so with the first one the first one who received five talents mm -hmm. what he did he invested the money Mm -hmm. So, if we, we we take this this uh, this scripture and we bring it home to us, we as children of God, we need to invest into others mm. with the skills that we have, with the task that we have with also what god has given us mm -hmm. for example when we meet as the sisters fellowship we share each other's knowledge mm -hmm. we equip each other with the things of life so that we will be prepared out there for the world so this person understand that 
the knowledge that he had, he mustn't keep it to himself. Mm -hmm. He needs to share it with mm -hmm. others. Mm -hmm. He needs to invest mm -hmm. into others so that other those that uh, that he shared the word with them, they will also bring others into the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Because the kingdom of God is not just for one person. It's for all the people. Amen. So this one under understood very well that he needs to use his skill, his knowledge, his, his, his power as well, as well. And he also needs to empower others who, 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 who don't know much about the kingdom of God. So that also those people will also be able to grow in the kingdom of God. So that they will be able also to tell others what the kingdom is all about. So with this one, the way he invested, he knew that everything will double for him. Amen. Amen. As we have read that he doubled another five portion for what he, he had received. Amen. Amen. So that's how we should do in the kingdom of God. With what God has given us, we mm -hmm. need to share with others so that God will be able to multiply through us his kingdom. Amen. Amen. And the second one who received two talents, we see that with him, he worked for it. Amen. Amen. So with this one, what he did, he sacrificed his time. He sacrificed his strength. He had a plan on what to do. So with this one, he went out there to the people and he worked for it. He made sure that at the end of the day, he was going to earn something. Amen. So there are times where God will give you something in life and you need to work for it mm -hmm. so that God will be able to see that you are able to do the task that he has given you and then God will be able to work from what you have and double it. Amen. Amen. Mm. And this one, he sacrificed the time. What we need to know is that time is our destiny. So any time wasted is a, is a destiny wasted. Mm. So with this one, he sacrificed his time. Okay. He made sure that he go out there and find people and bring them to the kingdom. So he had a strategic plan on how to okay. bring people to the kingdom Jesus. by using his time, mm -hmm. by using his strength. Amen. Amen. And then the last one, the third one, who received one. So with this one, we see that he only dug a hole. So it's a person in the kingdom who doesn't care. Okay. Who doesn't care about anything. He doesn't care about other people who just stay in the kingdom for himself. Amen. So with this one, we can see that the salvation is just for himself. He's only interested in the things of God for himself. He doesn't care what's happened to the others, whether they are so lost, whether they are, they are people who doesn't understand anything in the kingdom. And with this one, we can say that he doesn't even equip himself with the word of God. He just sit there and waiting for the things to happen. That's not how God wants us to be. God wants us to be with these two servants of God. With the one who invested and then the one who worked for it. Amen. Mm. And with this one, we can see that at the end, he even said to the master, when the master came back and, and asked how, how come you didn't even deposit the money? Because 
he had the spirit of I don't care. He didn't even try harder or have mm. any potential mm. to do anything. He just gave back the talent as it was. Mm. And then the master said, you should, you, you should have deposited that money back, I mean, that talent back to me. So because this one, he knew that already the, the master had much, what's the point of me working? What's the point of me investing? What's the point of me doing anything? <coughs> so this one, we see that we have people who have that same kind of attitude with God. They will say that, what's the point of me bringing people into the kingdom whereby God can do it by himself? Mm. Whereby God is the one who has power. Whereby God is the one who created us. So with this one, he was a lazy one who only wants everything to himself. Mm. And at the end, we see in the scripture that it says in verse 29, to those who use well what they are given, even more will be given to them. Mm. So anything that you have, the liquid that you have, if you use it well and trusting God with it, God will multiply it. Amen. As we see with the woman who had the liquid oil in the cupboard that was left, just because he trusted God with the leak that she had, God multiplied it more. And she was able to feed even the children with the leak that you have. Mm -hmm. If you want to start something in life, mm -hmm. you mustn't wait for God to move for you. You must move yourself. You must use what you have, Amen. the leak that you have. Mm -hmm. And then God would bless it. God will, will make a way to take you from that place to another. So children of God, we need to know that the little that you have is enough to take you far. Hallelujah. The little that you have is mm. enough to bring other souls into the kingdom. Amen. Because God has given us power. God has given us the ability to do anything in life. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And it continued by saying that uh, even more will be given and they will have an abundance. You see? So if you use what you have, God will bless it and will make it to double to be more. Amen. Imagine if you, you're sitting with gold, you're just sitting with gold. You don't know what to do with it. But there's treasure in your hand. But if you try and do something with that gold, it will be multiplied to be more. It will feed nations. Your life will never be the same again. Amen. Amen. It continues by saying, but for those who do nothing, even what the little they have will be taken away. Amen. Amen. We see here that with this one who was lazy, the talent was taken away from him because he had an attitude of, I don't care. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do anything. So he didn't even appreciate the leak that he had. He didn't even see that what he had, there's a potential of more. Amen. Amen. Now, throw this useless servant into outer darkness where there will be a weeping and garnish of teeth. Amen. Amen. So with this uh, verse to me, it came into my mind that if we are servants of God and we don't do anything in the kingdom, it means that when we get into heaven, God won't even negotiate with yeah. us. Yeah. We just be thrown into the hell. Yeah. So nothing, God won't even ask anything from us. 
But if, if we have done something into the kingdom, God will say, well done, my faithful servant. Mm. Here's your crown. Mm. You have done well. Amen. You have worked in the kingdom. I saw that you sacrificed your time. I saw that you strategized and had planned about how to bring other people to the kingdom. Mm. I saw that you invested in others by teaching others, by equipping others how the things of God are being done. How we, we, how we should grow into the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. So, Bazalwane, with this scripture, we are learning so much that with whatever that we do, we are accountable for. Mm. With every opportunity that comes your way, you must use it. With every skill that you have, you must exercise it. With anything that you've got, it can be nothing, but in the kingdom, it's something for someone else. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So, the kingdom of God it's all about expansion. We mustn't think that this church is only for us. This church needs to be filled. Mm. There should be people sitting on the other side. Mm. We should occupy the whole of this place. Amen. We should have screen outside. Mm. People, they need to know who is God. Amen. Mm. Even in our workplace, that's our platform mm. for people to know who God is. Amen. We mustn't restrict ourselves because God has capacitated us with so much power in us. We just need to stretch more. We just need to, to, to have a mind, a mindset of bringing more people to the kingdom. Amen. 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 So, what I want us to ask ourselves in this day is that which servant are you amongst the servants who are given talent? Mm -hmm. And we need to ask ourselves, where is our heart sitting? Is our heart with God? With God? Or is our heart into the things of this world? So if our heart is with God, what is it that is stopping us from working in the kingdom of God? Are we seeking the kingdom of God? Or are we seeking what we need? Because that's, that's also very important. Have we find our true identity? as we are the children of God. Are we doing what God has called us to do? Or we just sitting in the kingdom waiting for others to do what they need to do? We need to ask ourselves that question. And we need to ask ourselves when we go away from this earth Will our names be written in the book of life? Because when we die, we will celebrate that oh, she was a child of God or he was a child of God. He was born again. But the question is, is the name written in the book of life? Because that's the, the, that's the door. We can be saved, but that's not enough. Amen. 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 And as we are a born again Christian, we need to ask ourselves, are we in the kingdom to empower others, or are, are we in the kingdom to destroy the kingdom? Amen. Amen. Yeah. So as I'm ending with the preaching. Those are the questions we need to ask ourselves, including me. 
because we are living in times whereby Jesus Christ can come in at any time. We need to be ready in all ways so that we will be the people that God is pleased with. Amen. Amen. Each and every one of us amongst the servants, we know each other. We know where, where we are. We know which servants are we. So we're going to stand up and pray. And everyone will be praying for himself or herself and saying, Yes, Lord, I am in the kingdom. I, I am in your kingdom. But I haven't done much. What is it that I can change? What is it that you want me to do? How can I start moving onwards? Let us stand up and pray for ourselves.
Genelela Bantwana Bak of also on a manner, Yebo also on the in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. That's good.